We've had the Switch for one month, so let's discuss this wild ride. So I've unboxed the Switch, we've had the Switch for about a month now, and we even have our own playlist for the numerous videos that we made on the Switch. We have so much stuff on it. So today we're going to be talking about our thoughts on the Switch. We have someone that's had the Switch for a month and someone that hasn't. We have Dylan here from our previous videos. Dylan, say hi. Hey guys, how's it going? So you may have seen him in our Smash Bros video when he kicked my ass and I had to do a ton of dumb stuff. So, in our past videos, we've covered the problems of the Nintendo Switch, games, and accessories, and the midnight release, obviously. First, we're going to be talking about the price point. We've talked about this in many different videos, but it's going to be really interesting to think what a person without the Switch thinks. So, Dylan, what do you think of the Switch? It's at $300, and the accessories can cost you from anywhere from $70 to $80. Well, the thing about the Switch is that it's, uh, well, it's really small compared to the Wii U, you know? But, like, I guess uh, for some people, smaller means better, and for me, I guess it would be better. It's not taking up that much space, but also, I bet there's only very, very little games that has come out with this script so far, so far, and to buy, like, a few of the tall and sitting at the bare leaves and games on it, I just, I don't know about that. I can definitely agree with you there, to be honest, I love my Switch, but the lack of games right now could really kill it, and you shouldn't get the Switch yet until those really mainstream games like Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Flux, Skyrim, and NBA 2K18 come out. I think part 2 or 3, we talked about some hardware issues. Even since then, there have been more and more coming up. We have the freezing glitch, the blue and orange screens of death, and, and people's switches are bending. Now, limited to only two people, this is an isolated event, but there's a possibility that it could bend. That's really going to take a toll on Nintendo. Dylan, what do you think about all these problems? problems like I had some people have it glitching and then uh some people actually have like playing with the wild about to save and then the game just crashes and that's not really a fun experience for them and also the switch is as I said before it's very small so it could be very uh, it could be very exposed to things like bending and it Thinking that Nintendo has always marketed towards the younger age, not specifically on the Switch, they've they've tried to steer away from that stereotypical that Nintendo is for kids, but nin Nintendo is selling these to everyone, and there's definitely going to be a lot of kids having this out, so this is going to definitely be a problem, the, the durability of the Switch since it's going to be taken everywhere and that's like the whole gimmick of the Switch being able to switch between portable and home console. Yeah, I think uh, that the whole point of the Switch uh, was to be portable and uh, like kind of like the DDS but Alright, so we've talked about the price point, how expensive it is, accessories ranging from $70 to $80, the lack of games right now, and all these hardware issues, even the left Joy-Con desyncing, which can actually be fixed if you send your Joy-Con in, but you're going to be missing some Joy-Cons for about uh, one and a half to two weeks. So, in my opinion, I would still get it. I have the Switch, and none of these uh, none of these problems have appeared on my Switch. And we have another Switch going on over at Apple Army's uh, fort. He uses his Switch all the time. He doesn't have any problems either. So, Dylan, 
the big question here is would you get the Switch with the expensive price point, the lack of games, and the hardware issues? Do you think the good outweighs the bad here? Well, in my personal preference, I would not buy the Switch as of now. I feel when more games come out, like at least Splatoon 2, which uh, very people have many hype for, I think the Switch will just start exploding across the world. Yeah, alright, that's gonna be all we have time for. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Click the head in the cold ramen if you want to see more videos like these, and we'll see you in the next one.